Hi guys, welcome back to my art life and for today's episode, I'll show you how I make easy watercolor roses. Let's get started and for this episode, we'll use the Tokyo Finds Bento Picasso watercolor set. Let's start with the brush. So when you're picking up the paint, as much as possible, use only the tip as you can see here. So ito, ipapakita ko lang sa inyo how the tip looks like ng malapitan. The part with the paint should be smaller and mas malaki dapat yung part ng water. And here I'll show you why. Yung part na may water gives you a diffused edge or kung gusto yung faded out yung edge. Yung tip naman ng brush na may paint gives you a sharp clean edge. And gagamitin natin yan later on with our artwork today. Before we start, mag-practice muna tayo. Start by making a line using the tip of the brush. Then diffuse the edge using more water. Once nasanay na kayo, pwede nyo nang skip yung part na gagawa pa ng line before diffusing the edge. So now that we're done with practice, let's make an actual artwork using this technique. Let's start by making a small moon shape. Then another one facing the opposite direction. Ito yung magiging gitna ng rose natin and now, pwede na nating idagdag yung petals. We will now apply the techniques that we practiced earlier. So, all we need to do is to trace the edge of the previous petal. Pero, make sure na maglagay kayo ng space between the petals. Another tip that I can give you is to make sure na nag alternate yung mga petals from the previous one.
Ito pa pala, isa pang tip. Mas maganda tingnan yung mga petals kapag hindi flat or uniform yung kulay. So, wag kayong mag-load ng mag-load ng paint. Hayaan yung maging mas lighter yung kulay ng ibang petals or yung ibang part ng petals. In short, shade variation is good. Okay, so let's finish up with our roses. Now that we're done, let's add some leaves. But before that, let's practice first. So, in painting the leaves, it is very similar with how we painted the petals. The only difference is that it is inverted, or kabaliktaran nung ginawa natin kanina. Kung yung sa petals, nasa labas ng curved line yung fade out or diffused edge, sa leaves naman ay nasa loob ng curved line yung diffused edge. At para lang kayong gumagawa ng parentheses. Pero, paano if the leaf has an irregular shape? Well, don't worry. The same rule applies. First, create the outline with more paint, then diffuse the inside edge with more water. Once you're done, you can add veining to your leaves using the darkest green color that you have. And here, we can also apply the same technique when drawing with small leaves in a stem. Okay, so let's apply what we practiced and add the leaves over to our artwork here. Here's a tip when making leaves. Ang ginagawa ko is, nagdodrawing muna ako ng line bago ko idodrawing yung actual leaf. Drawing a line first lets you determine the size position and shape of the leaf even before drawing the actual leaf. There are lots of different types of leaves. Feel free to play around with size, shape, and color. And here, I'm basically drawing a stem with small leaves like we did earlier, but just by using a different color, it now looks like a stem with flowers on it. Now that's a nifty trick, isn't it? Alright, and with that, tapos na yung artwork natin for the day, and 
I hope itry nyo ding gumawa today nitong easy watercolor roses natin and I'm sure mag -e enjoy din kayo as much as I did. Thank you so much guys for watching and for hanging out with me today as well. Ang pala guys, I need your help in keeping my art life active and you can do that by clicking on the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. This would greatly help me in making more videos for you guys. Have a great day everyone and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.